today I wanted to go over the Monte Carlo simulator and how understanding uh, Monte Carlo simulations can help your trading, specifically how it can help you devise a trading strategy that passes funded account challenges. And it's something I heavily used when I was creating my own golden bullet trading strategy, which is based on gold back trading levels and ICT principles. Now, while I worked at Goldman Sachs on the trading floor, um, I created very complex uh, Monte Carlo simulators. Uh, this is a super simple one, and it's, it's good enough for our purposes to understand how our win rate and our R multiple affects profitability, um, pr estimated drawdown, consecutive mass loss trades, consecutive mass winning trades, and then it can help you decide uh, what your trading strategy should be, uh, whether you, you want to adopt a particular trading strategy, and um, how you can tweak things to make it more profitable. So in essence, how a Monte Carlo simulator works is um, you have a win rate, you have an R multiple, so this is the your expected profit, and then you have an expected number of trades. Now you run this sequence over a number of events. So basically, um, it's as if you're doing a funded challenge and your strategy has a 50% win rate, your R multiple is one, and you have you, you run it for 30 consecutive trades. And then because there are random outcomes to our win rate, this process is then repeated 12 times in this case, and then we average the results. So it's almost as if you take 12 funded challenges using your win rate of 50% and your R multiple of one, and you take 30 trades per challenge, and on average, this is what you'd expect to happen. So just to kind of run you for a simple example first, so let's say our starting balance is, is $100 and we're risking 1% per trade. If we adopt this strategy, what would happen after the 30 trades? So these lines basically show you you know, the first time we did it, the second time we did it, and so forth. So the end of the 30 trades, we started with $100, and we're basically broke even. So we're at $101. Um, so this prof you could probably work out that it wasn't going to be profitable, it was going to be a break-even stra break strategy, but I just wanted to give you the basics first so you can understand how this works. Now, what I've seen in over my trading career is a lot of people like those nice... 4R return trades, you know, making 40, 400% on their trading. And they typically, if they typically only have a 20% win rate, what does that actually mean when you run that trading strategy over 30 trades or so? So this is a losing strategy. Um, so we started with $100, we're down to 98 and a third, and uh, the gain was... Um, about you know minus 1.6 percent now within this strategy our best winning streak was two trades and our worst losing streak was 12 trades now what how this helps us is if we are risking one percent per trade using this strategy and our max drawdown on this funded challenge is 10 percent we would have lost our we would have lost 12 percent so we would have been out of it so even though we pretty much Yes, we didn't destroy the account. Um, we were close to breaking even. Um, we would have lost anyway because of this max losing streak, this worst losing streak. Um, what, I've, what, I've, what I've noticed is a lot of people have no idea what their win rate is anyway. Um, you only start understanding your win rate when you're, logging your, when you're logging your trades in your trade journal religiously. So logging every single trade. And again, you have to stick to your trading plan. So if your trading plan has an R multiple, an expected R multiple of four, you can't then sometimes partial 50% at 2R and then another 50% at 3R because that doesn't give you an overall R multiple of four. So understanding the mathematics behind it and logging your trades starts to give you these numbers. So what was the baseline I started at uh, when I came up with my, uh, when I was coming up with my golden bullet strategy based on ICT and gold back principles? So the 
basic version of the golden bullet has a, an R multiple of two. Now, if you're new to this strategy and you understand it and you're getting a win rate of 50%, how would this um, play out? So if your R multiple is two and your win rate is 50% using something like the, the, the golden bullet strategy, how does this work out? So there you go. So we started at $100 and we ended at $116. So the gain is 16%. Uh, in terms of win streaks and lose streaks, our max winning streak was four and our worst losing streak was four. Um, so based on this data, you would not blow your 10% max drawdown limit using a strategy like this. Now let's apply this to a funded account. So let's say we're applying for a 100 grand challenge, a 100,000 pound challenge, $100,000 challenge. So if you have 30 trades to pass it, you want to get to 110,000. So you comfortably pass, there you go. So I'm just making the numbers easy now. So we're, I'm trying to apply it to the real world when it comes to funding challenges. So you would have hit your 110,000 pound, uh, your $110,000 profit target. Now let's say you have an R multiple of two, but um, you know FOMO is creeping in a little bit and you haven't quite got the strategy right and you had the pressure of the day and some of these executions were off. Uh, if your win rate was only 40%, how would that affect you? So, Though you did not pass the challenge, uh, you still ended in profit. So a lot of the old funded account challenges had a time limit, um, or at least if you didn't blow the challenge, you'd get a free retake. So even if you're only hitting a 40% win rate, you're still profitable using a strategy like this that has 2R. Uh, if we drop again to, let's say, 30, 36%, We are now approaching break even. So we're becoming break even on the strategy. This is why it's so important to un to have a win rate that is something that you can hit consistently using your strategy, but isn't so low that any mistake that you make, an execution mistake or, a, or an emotional mistake, starts really affecting whether you're going to pass funded challenges. Now with the with the golden bullet strategy. Uh, as a beginner, once you understand it, you might only be hitting 50%. But the whole idea is I have all these other confluences based on ICT and smart money um, concepts built in. And as you start understanding and really internalizing, accepting and waiting for these extra confluences to come in, um, what is a 50% win rate strategy, which could gain you 17% over those 30 trades, if you, if you start really refining your edge within the golden bullet and get up to 66% 60, uh, win rate, the profits really compound. So over 30 trades, you'd be up 30%. Then let's say we only put on 10 trades. using a win rate of 66% because we refined our strategy and we're getting good at executing it and an multiple of two. In this case, we, we were one trade away from passing the funded challenge. But if we run it again, so at the very least we would have our money back or we'd have a chance to do an extra trade. There we go. So we just ran, the ran our sequence again the next time we hit it. So, the purpose of this video is to really drill home that firstly, it's important to log your statistics for your strategy. You have to know over a good sample set of you know 30 trades, 40 trades, 50 trades, 100 trades, what your win rate is and what your R multiple is. Um, I use Tradezilla to log all of my data. It's a little bit expensive, 
uh, but that's what I use. Uh, if you want me to do a video on Tradezilla on how I use it to log the golden bullet strategy, let me know. What the Monte Carlo simulator also helps us to understand is as we improve our win rate, what impact does that have on profitability? And then we can start using our log statistics to produce those plays that are A star or A plus setups. And then we can get rid of some of the B and C setups and get that win rate higher. So we need to take less trades in order to hit our profit targets. But the, uh, the simulator shows us, you know, what kind of win rate we need for a certain amount of profitability. So understanding uh, the trading equity curve and testing scenarios out in the Monte Carlo simulator was one of the first key steps I used to create the golden bullet strategy. Now, obviously, it relies heavily on the advanced gold back trading levels and the algorithmic theory behind it and also ICT principles. Uh, so give this um, trading equity curve simulator a go. I'll, I'll leave a link uh, in the description. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Goldback and how the Goldback levels underpin all price, and this is what ICT really uses uh, for his trades, uh, follow the description below. And if you'd like to learn more about my Golden Bullet mentorship, uh, you can book a call with me for a limited time. Uh, and again, the link is below. If you found this helpful, leave a comment. And uh, feel free to also let me know if you have any suggestions on any other videos you'd like me to make. If you want to learn more about Goldback and learn my strategy, my golden bullet, my mentorship is now live. Have a look at the description below. I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes.